go get that map. so cramped in here. cell blocks and then this massive room on the right pretty simple layout especially when you know what to look for Tablet of the Seductress. Mm. Ooh. Whoa. Pardon me. So, we know that Eddie is the gluttonous pig. Who's the Seductress? It's gotta be Angela. Although we don't fully understand why Angela is the seductress, we can make some assumptions based on our conversations with her, based on, you know, the torn photograph that we found. And there's also some things that are going to be revealed shortly. And that's one of the main reasons why I love this section of the game is because the characters start to unveil themselves and you start to fully understand why they're in Silent Hill undergoing the trial to be absolved of these sins and punishments yet to be decided. I still need one more tablet that's going to symbolize James. And in this cell is an invisible creature. Hear the sound effects? Sounds like a person. Oh! That really sounded like a person at the end. He's dead. Absolutely bizarre. Oh man, I. <laughs> through 20 bullets. Oh well. That's a really cool aspect of this area. Just totally bizarre. There's no other creature in the game that makes those sound effects. Look at the cell. The level of detail in here. All of these occult scrawlings. Got a wax doll. Look at all that. 
Books are scattered all over the bed and floor. On sacrifice and the art of demon summoning. Tome of the Seer. The Feast of the Succubi. The Fallen Angels of Mercy and Favor. I guess I shouldn't worry about these too much. Someone was having fun in here. Black Magic from the Abyss. Resurrection of the Dead. Just straight up. The Chronicle of Agrippa, Manuscript of the Iron Rings. Intriguing. And this looks like the Halo of the Sun. I don't think it is though, it looks like a simplified version of it. Not quite the Halo. The Halo is a symbol that you see throughout the series. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's a variant of the Halo, at least. But Agrippa was a biblical figure. He was the king of Judea. There's several different accounts of Agrippa, one of which tells the story of him being struck down by an angel. So. Perhaps this lore is some sort of occult version of an account of Agrippa. Not really of any real significance, but interesting to me. That voice is saying ritual, by the way. Ritual. Four hundred and thirty six people at a recital. This one's cool. That's the Lakeview Hotel. Burning Man. Oops. I didn't mean to close that out. Take a look at that. Just keep this image in mind for late game. We'll be going to the hotel eventually. Woman in flight. radio going crazy here. There's another invisible creature. He's here, I think. It's so weird. I won't be wasting any ammo on this guy, though. I got the Tablet of the Oppressor. Mm. So, James is the Oppressor, huh? The iron bar door is tightly closed. I can't force it open. So we're stuck in here. However, we can force our way out. So if it already wasn't obvious that James is the oppressor, now it's really obvious because the game spells it out for you by making you oppress your way out of that cell to continue. And James is really, although we can still draw some conclusions, he's the biggest mystery of all the characters. 
we really can't deduce fully why James is the oppressor at this point. But the characters will be unveiling themselves. Just love this section. Turn around. Three nooses hanging from this weird platform. Two pyramid head figures carrying out an execution of a prisoner. So I give you blood to atone for the three sins is written on top of the painting. Beneath the painting are three square depressions. So, we can use these tablets. Let's actually take a final look. Interesting art. It's like hieroglyphics. Probably a little bit more than hieroglyphics. I actually can't even make that one out. It's like the contrast is off. It's kind of irritating. Really not important, but still mildly annoying. So, all three tablets. room. It's like we're walking on grass, too. Look at the walls! It's like it just further demonstrates how like the fabric of time and space is completely warped. It's like patchwork. These walls are comprised of All of these different materials. There's like tile and brick and... I got a horseshoe. Actually one of the strangest puzzles is just ahead.
So here we have a lighter on the other end that we can't quite get to. Knock. <laughs> I love that one. Who got jump scared from that? That's a good jump scare. <laughs> 